in one way, Shiva and Shakti are not really too different. They are our two sides of the same coin. Shiva represents the cosmic potential energy, whereas Shakti embodies the cosmic kinetic energy. There is no difference between potential and kinetic energy except in functionality. When potential energy needs to engage in some activity, it converts into kinetic energy and accomplish its task. Conversely, when kinetic energy needs to recede, there is nothing to do and it essentially becomes potential energy. They are essentially convertible. That is why Shastra says Shiva and Shakti are not really too different. They are just two sides of the same coin. If you look in terms of human beings, the difference between men and women is that women can give birth to a new entity. They can bring new beings into the world. Similarly, it is a kinetic aspect of consciousness, not the potential aspect of the consciousness, but the kinetic part of the consciousness that can give rise to a new things. Whether it is a thought, a perception of things, like I am seeing that there is a video camera in front of me, that perception is basically an entity being born in my consciousness. Similarly, any action that you do, any desire that you have, all these are constantly various thoughts, desire, action being born within us so that they can be created only through the kinetic aspect of consciousness. So that kinetic aspect of the consciousness is called Shakti or Devi. That is why people who come to this world, not just to realize and merge in Brahman, but to do some activities, some important work, are inherently drawn towards some form of Devi, to engage in things in the world, whether material or spiritual.